listen, this is a great run. Now I noticed um, that you're you're coming into it in in Liverpool in February. That's your that's your first your first date, and then that you're running, the yeah, you're running right through into uh, into the summer and coming to Dublin then in April. You have a good long run here. You're, you're it's kind of two weeks in Dublin. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I love Dublin to start with, and normally when I'm coming to do concerts, solo concerts, we're only there for a day or two. So it'll be great to actually spend a bit of time there and hopefully, you know, get some time to have a proper look around the city and sample some of the Dublin delights. Looking forward to it. There are many delights to sample in the city. I'll, put, I'll point <laughs> you in the right direction. Don't you worry. Listen, one of the things I want to, I want to talk to you about, the idea of Chicago and locking yourself in because you, you, you're so right. You, you, you come and you do a concert and we, and we go and see you and, and, and love you. And as I've told you before, I still think your version of Granada is one of the best versions I've ever heard. I still think it's powerful. Thank you. Oh no, you know, and, and, and I don't know if you got the money for the Christmas album I brought out a few years ago, where we put Panis Angelicus on it, just so you, you get something out of it. So, <laughs> small box of milk tray, maybe. I you know. are funny. But, but, to do, but to do this now, and to lock yourself into this, I suppose, but because the world has, has been in a strange place for the last while, maybe this is a great thing to be able to do this for you. I just think <clears throat> regardless of what's happened in the last two years, it would have been something that I think certainly at my stage of life and this stage that I'm at um, in my career, this is something that I would have considered at, I think, any point over probably the last 10 years, because I've always, <clears throat> I wouldn't say I've, I've always, I've always held this ambition to be in a musical, but certainly for the last, I would say, second half of what I would call my career, it's something that I've given a great deal of thought to. And I have been offered several roles over the past few years. Um, and I think, I think predominantly because I felt like the runs were too long for me. Six months I felt was a long time away from home. But I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just felt like when I was offered Chicago, I had a look at the role. I did a lot. Of, you know, I looked into the character of Billy Flynn and I really thought this is something that I could really, really get a lot out of. Um, I, it's so funny because... I've, I am literally at the moment living the role. So it's, 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 it's with me in the morning when I get up for breakfast, I'm going through my lines while I'm eating my cereal. I'm yes. wandering around the house. I go to feed the horses. The, 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 the role is still in my head. I'm going to bed at night. It's still whirring around in my head. I'm waking up, you know, singing the songs. It, it's, it's kind of, it's all encompassing. And I think it has to be with a role like this because I think you really have to kind of dedicate yourself and infuse yourself into this role. Otherwise, it, you know, I think potentially it would be cat catastrophic. Absolutely. And the thing is that, that Billy Flynn is so integral to the whole story because what he does is he defends Roxy Hart. It's a, it, there's, there's, there's been a murder and he's the defender. Now, when you think about that and, and the importance of the role, uh, your boy, are you center stage, Russell? Boy, are you center stage. Yeah. But, on top, but on top of that, because you're acting, you know that every move and, and every utterance from you triggers another one from someone else. So you've got to be on top of your game. Are you nervous about it? Are you scared about it? Are you I'm, I'm excited? Yes, but are you scared? I think any kind of any kind of performance live on stage brings with it its own sense of nervousness. Mm. When I when I when I walk on stage to do my acts, I'm in complete control of what I do. There's nobody else really reliant on me. I'm kind of more, if anything, I'm more reliant on the band to get their bits right, and then I just do what I do. Yeah. So, in that respect, it is it's a completely different arena for me. And I've got to be honest, when I took the role on, I I, I originally thought that there would potentially be more singing than dialogue. But as it turns out, there's a lot more dialogue than there is singing. So it's been a lot of stuff to learn and it's easy to get lines confused. So what I'm looking forward to most, I think at the moment is sort of replacing what I'm doing at the moment in, at, at home and actually being in that environment. So I've got two weeks of rehearsals 
and I'm mm. looking forward to that. So it actually all starts to kind of slot into place and make sense to me. And then I think I'd be able to tell you whether or not I'm slightly nervous. But at the moment, I'm literally just reading words off a page with nothing at all to reference it to. And I, I think so that you, is so very you haven't difficult. Been, you haven't been with the other members of the cast yet? No. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's... I start on I I start uh, on Monday a week today. I yes. start rehearsals. I've got two weeks to to prepare, which is relatively quite a short period of time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, let's face it; it can only all go wrong. That's all. <laughs> As my dad's always said, there's two chances. <laughs> That's right, yeah. It'll either be great or rubbish. <laughs> Correct. Whose fault was it? Russell Watson. You see, in the past, you could have blamed Alan Jones when you when you were doing those albums. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that all. I probably still will. <laughs> yeah, you probably did anyway. Do you know the facts about Chicago are frightening? And no doubt when they came to you and said, you like this, Russell, you love it. Like, it's been done in, in, in English, Dutch, German, Swedish, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, Italian, French, Danish, Japanese, and Korean. It's only been seen by 33 million people. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, small, <laughs> small relative success. The thing about Chicago is people go back to it which is quite yeah. interesting. So you're going to have people who are there singing along with you and probably mouthing the words as well. So it's going to be a big deal for so many people to be in a theatre and to be able to see you, certainly in Dublin and Lord Gosh, uh, again. It's going to be very exciting. I mean, that, that's, that's one of the things that I was already aware of, actually. And that's why I've been so focused on trying to really kind of infuse a little bit of me into yes. the character of Billy Flynn as well, because I don't just want to go in there and watch what everybody else has done online and copy this and copy that. I, I really kind of want to get my own interpretation of who Billy Flynn is. And I, I do have my, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, the director, producer, everyone might want, you know, me to change certain bits. But I, if I'm being honest, I see Billy as a very flamboyant character, a character that, you know, can easily impress, but has also got a very dark and unpleasant side to him as well. And That's I want true. to try to encapsulate both those sides of him, the pleasant sort of, I'm the man, you know, everybody just come and have a look at me, to yeah. the more darker side of him, which is, you know, as I say, really unpleasant and actually highly motivated by financial gain. At, and he doesn't care at what cost. No, he doesn't care at what cost. It is a fascinating story. Can I just say, I, I said it at the top and I'll say it again. You're looking remarkably healthy and well, thank God. Because oh, you've been thank through, you. No, but you've been through, you know, but we've met over the years and you've been through the mill with your health problems. My God, have you. Um, but you've survived it and you look like a man who's training every day. You look like, you look like you're in, in top physical form. Are you? Are you, are you? are you working away there? You mentioned horses. Are you out with the horses and stuff? Well, we we actually about three or four weeks ago, we well, it's it's, it's actually a month now. We moved out. We just um, bought a farm in Cheshire, oh, yeah. and it's just I mean, it's one of the best moves I've ever made. Actually, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. The wife's got horses up in the stables, um, and it's it's been a lot of work. So, if I'm being honest, I haven't really partaken in much physical activity. Really, you know, I've not been playing much tennis or anything like that. But I have lit, my wife has literally had me running all over the place. I've been, you know, emptying. Yeah. I mean, there was so many, the, the stuff you collate when you live in a house for the last place we lived in, in, in Wilmslow, we were there for 16, 17 years. And there was hundreds of boxes full of stuff that needed That's to right. be emptied and moved around. So, And are they all, are they all in storage in the garage now on the farm? Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and there they'll stay. And there they'll stay. Is it? Is it a? Is it? When you say farm, you have horses. Do you have? Do you have like like? Do you have any cows and stuff? Is it? A, is it a not a dairy farm? I can't see you milking. Cow. <clears throat> We're going to have some sheep. Um, okay. I'm not sure when they're going to be arriving, but it's a it's, it's a big old place. The views are absolutely incredible. It's it's stunning. Mm -hmm. But the wife has horses. Um, just before uh, I arrived back from the last job I was doing, she purchased two alpacas. So I'm out there most <laughs> most afternoons. Hand you have to hand feed them supposedly, so they don't get nasty. Well, you'll never be short of a jumper with an alpaca. So that's all. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> in the winter time. 
They've got beautiful <laughs> fur on. How are you keeping? I'm very well, my friend. I'm very well, working away and, and loving it. The point, Good it's like you. anything, isn't it? If you love what you do, then that's okay. As long as you're working away and loving what you do, it's not a burden. That's the great thing. And it, it's like it's like what I've taken on now. I mean, if if I if again if I'm if I'm abs if I'm totally honest, when I first, when I open the first page of Chicago at the section where I enter, I look. I was flicking through the book and I was I was literally looking at it and thinking. How am I going to remember all this? Yes. But it's slowly, slowly, it's, it's a little bit like a, a giant jigsaw. And slowly, slowly, all the pieces start to fit together. And, you know, before you know it, the jigsaw's complete and you know what you're doing. And well, yes. you, you can see the picture in front of you. And it's a little bit like that with something like this, particularly, as I say, where there's such a, a vast amount of dialogue. I mean, Billy Flynn has only has three songs in the musical, but he is the integral character in some respects because he's kind of into, you know, he, he's interlinking with all the other characters. With, every, with everyone, with everything, absolutely. Yeah. And, that, and therefore it's, it's bangs back in the middle. Now look, you're running from the 5th of April to the 16th uh, here in Dublin at the board, gosh, it's going to be great. I'm so looking forward to seeing you again, my friend on stage. But also, it's a classy role, isn't it? Even though he's a ne'er do well and he's a bit of a spiv and all the rest of it, yeah, it's a classy role to play, isn't it? It's a great role to play. It's it's almost, you know, I love the old sort of 1920s, 1930s gangster movies, and this is this is sort of like sitting on the side of that, you know, sort of Chicago gangster type. You know what I mean? And one of the things that I, I was studying... Your, your Dublin accent is terrific, by the way. No, oh, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. <laughs> that that really is. Thank you so much. But Sorry, one, no, of I, things, yeah. one of the things... One of the... I digress. <laughs> one of the things that, um, that, that I have been working on is trying to get the Chicago accent because I've always been able to do, you know, like New York, that type of thing because I spent a lot of time there. But the Chicago accent is very different. So I've been doing a lot of study and trying to get that right, particularly with, you know, the THs, because in Chicago, they pronounce, for instance, say um, there, they would say there. So that's what I'm talking about. It's over there. So you got to get that type of thing right if you're going to do Chicago. Get you. Get you. It's almost, it's almost Joe Pesci meets Russell Watson. And that's why I quite like it, because yeah. it's totally out of my... It's totally out of, of, of what I normally would do. It's that's totally right. out yeah. of that comfort zone. But and that's I like good. That. Yeah, but that's attention to detail as well. That's impressive too, because it means you want to get it really correct as opposed to just do. doing it. Listen, you're a joy. Uh, Russell, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, Marty. I'm excited for the 5th of April. We have different rules here currently to do with theatre. By all accounts, please God, then it'll be different and we'll all be able to enjoy a night out together. Amen. 5th of April until the 16th of April at the board gosh and at Chicago and Billy Flynn will be played by the great Russell Watson. Russell, God bless you. And thank you so much. Thanks, Marty. It's, it Take really is always, a, it's always a pleasure. You're, you're a lovely man and it's, it's, it's good to see you again. Well, thank you kindly for the kind words. Take care, Russell. Right. Take care. God bless. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.